And welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Riverview Farm. Yes, that's right. We're back here at Riverview and we're continuing on with our farming exploits. And we're going to get straight in. We've got a busy day today. Um, but as you can see, as we've said with the other series, we've updated our enhanced animal pack. Uh, and that now changes some of the animals. And we've fixed all that up and got that sorted. But we now have rams and uh, lambs and ducks and um, all sorts of stuff. But... Uh, I've already spoken about the other series, so I'm not going to dwell on that, but rest assured we've set that up. So you can see our ram just walking back in there into the shed. and um, Haven't got any lambs in this pen here particularly, but you can, you know what we're talking about. So anyway, we're going to move right along from there. Well, got caught up on that. Right, let's go for a bit of a quick run down here. Um, oh, there's cows. Uh, have we got any calves? I do like the calves. I think the calves look good. There we go. There's a calf. There we go. Our little fella. Anyway, all right, so that's all sorted. Now, uh, what have we got on today? Oh, the other thing is actually, yeah, so I do have to mention that the farm has changed a little bit. Um, I don't think we've mentioned that because of the fact we changed this cow barn over. Um, we put the DD production pack one in and it's a little bit bigger, so we've had to change some of the layout, which is fine. We got rid of the shed that was over here that we weren't using anymore. Um, so that's fine. We had to change out the slurry tank because it was in the way and then we've got a path down through here directly in to get the milk. We've got the slurry tank there. We've got our, our barn there for all of our uh, silage bales. We've got silage bales over here because we changed our baler because we had a problem with the baler. The mod um, had a problem so we've, we've had to swap that out again. So I think these ones here are 240 oh whatever they are maybe 180 bales and the other ones are uh 150 bales so anyway not a big deal um we've still got the same amount of silage basically but uh anyway we got that so we did also collect the bales from the um grass fields so we had bales over here on uh where are we where are we, where are we? we bring it up to the right part of the map duck 16 and 5 we've harvested the grass from there and uh, we bailed it all up, remember? And we've um, we've since collected that and brought it back to the farm. Um, but as you can see, the grass is almost ready to harvest again. Talking of harvesting, um, we've got grass over here. We're harvesting at 46. Um, we've also got um, these grass fields here that are ready to harvest. We don't own those yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward to getting those at some point. This field here, 28, is also a grass field, uh, as you can see there. And that is ready to harvest. We've got to harvest this grass as well. So we've got plenty of grass coming in. in more in more so the fact that we're probably going to look at changing this field back to a more arable crop after we next get the grass off it. And then in field 29 here, we've got ready to harvest. And that, I think, was corn. Yes, it was. So corn, we've got corn field over here ready to harvest. We're finishing off the preps of this field over here, field 15. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as we go for there. Um, we've got sorghum growing in 14 and 12. We've got sugar beet in 13. We've got wheat in 17. We've got, uh, what have we got over here? We've got, um, what was in there? Oat. Yeah, we've got oat in 18 and 19. Over here, we've got sugar beet in field one. We've got soybean in field uh, 38. And that's the extent of our farm, I think. Yes, we've covered off everything. All right. So let's get into it and uh, and get things going again. So I'm just going to bring my time back up now. We've gone through and done our explanation. There we go. And we're going to go through. Now this guy here, um, we're going to get him cracking again. There we go. I'm just going to get him going around and mowing. He's obviously having some difficulty. There he goes. No, what are you doing? He's a bit confused. Don't need to go back that far. Right. Oops. Right. Let's, let's do this. Right. Nearest waypoint. Now just go. Thank you. All right. Now you're off. Cool. Now I do need to get my slurry truck over here running again. There he is here. So. He's actually empty, so we need to fill him up. So let's go and do that. So we've got our slurry tank just over here. So we can go and fill him up again, and then uh, we'll, we'll continue on with this. We may have to fill the slurry tank up, though, I think. Um, I think it's due to be uh, refilled. And we've got some seeding to do. Uh, so I have to come over and get that, this, uh, these two fields 
seeded as well. So we've got lots of work to do. Remembering this is a non-seasons series. Um, so we don't, uh, we don't have the, uh, the problem of having to wait and, and plant at the right time, all this stuff. So it's just con continuous cyclic farming. So um, it's a bit, of a bit of a change up to the other series, so that's fine. All right, so we've got that going here. Once we've got this going, I'm gonna send the combine over to start on the corn harvest. So we're gonna get that done as well. Because we haven't got much time. I think we've only got uh, till the end of November to get the corn harvested uh, before it'll probably wither. So we do need to get that, that harvested because it's be sitting there a little bit. All right, so you're now ready to go. So we can just bring you back over here and continue on with your slurry application. He's been, been doing a pretty good job since we were last here. We've also got to do some work with the production. We, we want to get some other uh, inputs into our flour mill. We're running a bit low on flour. Um, so we're currently using wheat, but I need to keep some wheat behind for feed of the chickens and stuff like that. So I'm going to, I've got barley and some sorghum. Is it barley or oat? One of the two. Um, and sorghum to put into the... Um, uh, into the flour mill, so we've got that to worry about. All right, and you're doing this again. All right, let's see if I reverse him out of the way. Just enough. Right. He's, he's a bit fastidious, the old the old big M driver. But anyway, it's okay. Uh, oh, we did buy this too, <laughs> just just for shits and giggles. So we bought this Super Tiger um, 63S. Now this is only very small, um, but we only need something very small to manage this huge trailer here to feed our, our uh, chickens. And it's okay. So that's, we, it was like $4,000. So it was bugger all. All right. Now, um, here we go. So was it this one I was taking out, uh, or the other combine? I think it was the other combine. Let me have a look. Uh, no, it's this combine over here. So we're going to take this combine and this tractor and trailer over to get the corn done. So let's go and do that. Jump out of here, I'm gonna get him to follow. Like so. Go. All right. And off to the cornfield. Hope everyone's doing well. Don't forget to uh, also like and subscribe if you don't mind, that helps out the channel. Uh, we are still on the road to 5,000 subs. We've had a bit of a, a bit of an issue with getting uh, the videos all scheduled and back up again after our little sort of bit of a break. Um, I've still got problems with my um, music licenses. Um, I had a problem with the account of where I've got my uh, music for the intro and all that license. So um, that's been part of the delay as well because otherwise it meant that every video that went up had a copyright strike um, and and stuff like that that was unnecessary. So. We are still sort of trying to finalise some other things that have sort of been happening coincidentally or linked, I don't know. Um, so we've, we've been having some issues and that's, that's part of the delay. Um, so uh, rest assured that they are coming. Um, certainly we're hoping to be in full production. As of the time I'm sort of recording this, I'm pretty much in full production. Um, it's just a matter of getting everything edited and scheduled and, and sorting out the music. If not, I, I may have to just use some uh, some other music for the intro, uh, which I've also, which we've already seen on one of the videos, I think it was the Elm Creek video, uh, the most recent Elm Creek video, um, had uh, some some interim music for the intro, um, or I might have to go and find some, some other stuff. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, that's, that's my issue, not yours. So, all is good. Now, I think this is our field here. Now, um, we need to be able to get in and get everything sorted with a minimal amount of fuss and preferably a minimal amount of um, wrecked crop. Right, so if I disconnect the trailer there. No, I didn't want to do that. Anyway. No, 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 no. Oh man, I forgot about that. 
<laughs> I forgot. I forgot about him Bill still being on follow me. All right, that's all right. It, it wasn't wasn't a total disaster. Day. Now, done that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab the uh, the trailer because it's on a, on a dolly. We can just push him out of the way. Well, not that, that far out of the way, but anyway. You know what I mean. It's okay. Just, just him out of the way. Oh, I didn't actually unfold the trailer either. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so we're going to bring you off the road. So, there we go. Right. Now we're going to set this guy up and get him going. I am going to put him on a course by course. We've got a few other things I want to get done. So it is what it is. So we're going to come in here. We're going to create the job. You should all know how to do this by now. We've done it many, many times. So we're going to go in there. Um, we're going to go generate. Uh, multiple tools, no. Number of headlands, three. That seems fine. Yep, headlands, smooth. Um, we'll do smooth. Yeah, I'll do smooth. And that will be fine. Generate the field work. Okay. First waypoint and start. And away he goes. Bonus. All right, so we'll just bring this guy in a bit further. Out of the way. There we go. Right, excellent. We'll leave him there. Right, next on the chopping block is other work around the farm. So let's go through here. What have we got? I don't know what tractors I've got available to use now. Um, got this one over here. This is what we'll use. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this guy here. Just connect these trailers. I'm going to head up with the other Trans 70 trailer we've got just sitting over here. I'm going to transfer some uh, product into my um, flour mill because like I said we want to get the flour mill running um, with a bit more product now we did prior to commencing this episode so I think the previous game day we have done some transfer of um, production goods so from the manufacturing facilities into the warehouse etc etc um, and we've just sort of tied all that up so we haven't done that haven't got to do too much of that today um, but obviously that will return when we need to. Uh, there's my milk truck. Uh, I've got some product there we need to deal with. So, well, didn't do that. I wanted to. All right. So we're going to reverse up here. All right. Uh, I will take some more wheat. I've got plenty of wheat there for the moment. I've got another. I've got at least another wheat field ready to go. So. We'll take a small wheat delivery to supplement what's already there in the flour mill for wheat. There we go. Now, I've got to make a bit of a public announcement too. Um, I did get an email, I can't remember his name, so I apologise to the community manager particularly um, that I normally deal with. Um, I got an invite to um, FarmCon. Yay, thanks Giants, really thankful. Seriously, I'm, I actually am thankful. I, I appreciate the fact that they they uh, they sent an invite. I, I, I believe that basically every software partner or partner of, of Giants has got an invite to it anyway, but um, unfortunately, because I'm only a small YouTuber and FarmCon is in Germany, I think it was, um, there's, there's no chance of me getting there. So, um, yeah, thanks, but uh, no thanks. Would I have gone anyway? Uh, look, I don't know. Oh, it was an all expenses paid trip. Sure, not a problem. But no, no, it's just, I mean, I guess, I guess they should at least look at their 
I mean, I, I suppose I don't really know. I mean, for all they know, I might be a multi-millionaire and I'm just doing this for shits and giggles. And, um, and I might fly out there and all that sort of stuff. But by the same token, perhaps you might touch your, or t not, not actually touch your, um, your other partners, but um, touch base with your uh, other partners that are further away than just uh, in the backyard of Europe and, and see um, because, I mean, it's just a wasted effort, isn't it, really, just sending out all these invites and codes and shit like that when there's no chance of them actually getting there. So, but anyway. All right, so I've put one load of that in there. Uh, put another load. Yeah, I'll put all the oats in there. We've got no other use for oats, so I'm just going to put all that in, in the flour mill. Like so. Now, it's not as if we have to travel too far for it, so it's not, not an issue. Right, what we'll do is we're going to come back into here, into my production chain management. And as you can see there, barley, oat. We've now got oats, so we can turn the oat on, and I'm going to put some sorghum in there, so we'll turn the sorghum on as well. And we'll hopefully be producing a bit extra flour. All right, so we'll get up to two loads of sorghum. I, don't, I can't remember how much sorghum we've got in here. I, we've definitely got enough for one full load. I don't think we've got enough for two full loads, but we'll just... What we've got in here, we'll put in there. Um, sorghum, there we go. Oh, we have got enough, uh, almost two loads. All right, 70,000 litres of sorghum. Push all that in. Uh, our combine is almost full, so if, when I do the second load of sorghum, it'll be a perfect time to head on over and empty off the uh, the combine, so that's good. I don't know how much product we've got sitting there at the, the dairy, so I'll have to have a look at that, but we can probably move some of that into the warehouse as well at some point soon. Um, but there's no, again, there's no real rush for that. We'll get two full loads out of that, that's good. So that's the flour sorter. So now if we come back and have a look in here, um, we've got 83,000 thereof of wheat, 120,000 thereof of oat, and we've got 140,000 thereof of sorghum to produce some flour. So that, that should help produce a bit of extra flour for the bakery and uh, we'll get our production up and running, which means we can then go and sell some production and make some more money. All right, let's head on over and see how he's going. All right, he is full. All right, so we'll go grab this guy. Did one full lap of the field, which is great. As we can see as well, when we come back to uh, to look after this field, we're gonna have to de-stone it. There's stones everywhere. The previous farmer um, has obviously done no work in maintenance. Right, very good. So that's the corn underway, well and truly. I uh, don't need to do anything with you at the moment. I don't think, I don't think I've got any milk in here either. No, we don't. Uh, we'll go over here to the dairy and see how this is going. Uh, oh, we haven't got a huge bank up of products. That's okay. We've got 84,000 litres of milk in here. We've got sugar, we've got cocoa bean. So that's self-sufficient for a little bit longer yet. So that's good. We'll take this tractor back down to the farm. In fact, there's one more, one more pallet can go out there on that on the hard stand there, so that's okay. So we're, we're okay. Um, and we'll see what else we need to get done. Uh, we should actually go and check on the Big M, shouldn't we, actually? And uh, and see how that's going and get baling over there. Um, or baling, no, I think we're picking up grass at this point in time. Oh, I don't want to go under the that, so we're going to leave that there. All right, so let's go and see how we're going over here. Um, not with you. Right, here we go. So the big hem looks as though he's finished. We are bailing this one. 
Now, do I want a bale or do I need... I don't know if I need silage or hay. Um, I probably need... I'll probably bale... We'll bale this one, and then the next one, we will just... Um, we'll collect the, the grass. So let's unfold. There you go, unfold. What have we got on? 180 centimeter bales, that's okay. Yeah, so it was we, we had the 150 centimeter baler, we've now gone to the 180 baler because of the um, the issue we had with the other baler. And turn that on. And away we go. Alright, so we'll just get this done and we'll just keep an eye on the uh, the combine harvester because we'll have to go and empty that off. And then we can take the big M and this unit, well probably not this unit, we'll have to go back and change over to a loading wagon um, to the next grass field and get that started. Alright, haven't even taken a breath yet and we're already almost at the end of the episode. I mean, geez, time flies when you're busy and having fun, so they say. Go bail out. Are you gonna wrap or not? Why aren't you wrapping? Um So I don't want to make drop. But it's not wrapping. Um, or is it not going to wrap the larger bale? Okay, well, I, I don't know why it's not wrapping. I'm sure we can wrap the 180. Why is it not? Hmm. I don't know, Kimosabi. We'll have to wait and see. We might have to um, play with this baler again. Because suddenly it's not wrapping. And it's a problem I had with the other baler. It just stopped wrapping. So I might have a problem. I haven't changed any of the wrapping mods or anything else like that. So I don't know. I have to keep an eye on what's going on with it. We're bringing out the 150 bale. Turn off the automatic drop. We'll try one more at 150. Otherwise, what we might just be doing is bailing it at 150 or 180 and just doing it as grass. Um, I really don't know. So if any of you have any clue as to what's going on here, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know. Right, now you're, now you're wrapping. Okay. That's fine. So we'll turn on, I'll turn on the auto off, off unload again now and see if it continues to wrap with the 150. That's bizarre, it's really, really, really bizarre. All right. Here we go, test number two. That's better. Now you're working as I expected. All right, let's see how that goes. All right, it's changing the foil color, which is fine. So everything seems to be working. So I don't know. All right, let's let's um. I'm gonna change that back to the 180 and just see. You may have just needed a bit of prompting. Okay, we'll find out in a second. Oh, 
No one's wrapping. All right, fine. All right, I need to move you out of the way. Yeah, we can oversee the uh, the combine over there, which is full. He's ready to offload again. All right, there we go. One more round. I want to make sure we're getting the bale done. Because that one may have come out as a 150, not a 180. Because I may not have uh, changed in time for it to adjust to that. Now, I do have to remember it hasn't got a compressor in here, so we do have to stop when it's injecting. Um, so, otherwise, we have to come back and clean up little bits and pieces of grass. Right, come on. Put out the big bale and wrap it. No, we're not quite full. Preempted. That's, so it's not wrapping the big bales. Okay, well that's fine. I mean, that just means that what we'll do is... Well, we've got enough size. So I'm just going to wrap... I'm just going to do these as large grass bales. Bugger it. I can't be asked stuffing around with it anymore. Right, let's, let's go to the combine. I thought it was going to crash on me there for a second. Right, here we go. Uh, we want to go to this guy here, and we're going to offload the combine and continue on. But that's going to be pretty much close to our end of episode. I mean, geez, like I said, time flies. But progressing, progressing we are. Now, let me get rid of that. So the other thing I wanted to say too is don't forget that uh, we have got the... Um, poll up on the community tab for which series for FS22 is going to be saying goodbye first. Currently Elm Creek is winning by a mile so if you do want to see Elm Creek go by the by or you don't want to see it go by the by and have something else go uh, then please make sure you get on over and put your vote in on the poll. Uh, the vote, the poll will be closing um, shortly uh, probably in the next week or so so uh, get over there and put your have your say um, and uh, and it may also drive which one's the second one so the, the, to go off so whichever's in second place may well be the second video or series for FS22 to depart so um, just keep that in mind as well all right as we go back here and we'll just continue and we'll just get all this grass bailed up like I said we're not gonna fluff about with making silage bales we're just gonna get all this done So what we'll do is after this episode we'll continue on we'll finish this grass field off um, and then we'll move on to our other large grass field just down the way um, we will collect that just as pure grass again um, I might do I do it as bales it might just be easier to do it as bales and then um, bring it across I don't think there's gonna be any issues with I mean, we're, we're just going to be putting it into the hay dryer anyway, so it's not, not going to have any major issues. So, um, for the sake of completion, what we'll do is we'll just move everything, like I said, across to um, the new field and we'll get that going um, and then go from there. All right. But that will be it for this episode. We will sign off here. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware when new videos are available on the channel. 
Don't forget that you can also come and join us on Twitter, Discord and Facebook. The details are down below in the description. And apart from anything else, take care of yourself and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. See you all later. Bye.